Uh, we also condole with the families and may the uh, souls of those who passed away rest in peace. Now moving on, over 4,700 heads of state, ministers, business leaders, senior UN officials, and civil society representatives are gathering in Nairobi for a meeting of the world's top body on the environment where they will take decisions that move global societies to a more sustainable path. The fourth UN Environment Assembly runs from 11th to 15th of March under the theme Innovative Solutions for Environmental Challenges and Sustainable Consumption and Production. It is the biggest gathering in the Assembly's short history. Now with attendance almost double the last event in December 2017, Prominent world leaders will attend, including the president of France and Kenya and CEOs from major corporations. It's uh, about taking commitments and uh, this is what I have wanted to achieve, that at least um, all, uh, all the ministers and delegations, they promise to take some action. And we'll be looking for the, for the wording which would suit them where we could reach consensus. And of course, the, the most complicated part is agree on concrete targets and concrete timelines. Well, that was um, UNEP Director John Msuya, as well as the Minister for Environment from Estonia, Mr. Sin Kisla, who happens also to be the President of this Environmental Assembly. Now, for the four days, or before the Assembly started, we had messages uh, from these leaders con passing their message of condolences to the family and friends who were affected during the plane crash yesterday. For the five days, just to break it down uh, for our viewers, what will be happening here at the United Nations uh, Environment Assembly, we, see, we expect bold decisions and also uh, some outcomes that will have a bearing for the environmental sector, uh, especially for developing countries like Kenya. But from the press conference, just a real quick about what uh, they talked about was the decisions and uh, also their marine life is a priority for this assembly. Remember, Kenya did ban the use of single-use plastic last year and uh, they are coming for the plastic bottles that are now on the rise and they end up, as they say, end up in the marine life. They showed of aquatic life and uh, the, the loss of biodiversity at top of the agendas for this assembly. And as uh, I quote uh, the UNEP director, Joyce Msoya, who really said that the decisions that will be made um, uh, here will have a profound impact on the 2013 agenda and also during the Paris Agreement. Remember the Paris Agreement happened in 2015 that so many countries um, signed to the agreement and agree to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide they release onto the environment. This assembly will have a bearing to that. We also have uh, leaders who will make, who will even agree on the state of the, uh, on the state, in, on the manner or in the manner in which uh, they will conduct uh, uh, or they preserve the environment. Remember, the developing countries tend to suffer more when it comes to environmental, um, uh, the environmental sector as compared to developed countries.